Hey, welcome back to Paint Train Outdoors. The clip you just saw represents an extremely high angled shot at a white-tailed deer from an elevated position. We're shooting a bow somewhere between 5 and 10 yards from the tree and we're 30 to 40 feet up. This particular scenario represents 5 of the 11 deer that Alfred and I shot last year. I don't know how it worked out that way. We just had a lot of deer in close. The question is though, is it ethical? You can see by this shot, when you play the slow motion, the arrow enters directly above the shoulder between the shoulder blade and the spine. It actually clips portions of the spine as it goes down through, but it goes so far down in that it severs every portion of the upper part of the heart. It just completely separates the heart from the deer and the deer dies within 10, 12 seconds. So is it ethical? Well, we'll leave that up for you guys to decide in the comments. Put them down there, let everybody discuss it. Watch the remainder of the video. I think there's a cool story to be told. And uh, at the end, you'll be able to see this thing happen in real time with actual speed. So, I basically take my time getting in and getting set up at the tree, right? And as those turkeys are flying out of the tree, I put my climbing stick on the tree and I turn around to tie my bow up. As soon as I go to do that, I've got red eyes slinking down the hill towards me, maybe 15 yards away. And I thought, well, that's not good. I gotta turn my light on. So I go from the red light to the full white light. And at that point, I've got five or six coyotes all within 15 or 20 yards of me. And they're coming closer. By the time I got an arrow knocked, that first coyote was within nine or 10 feet of me. I don't have my release out of my bag. I'm gonna go with fingers. And as I draw that bow back, I can't see sights. I can't see anything. So I try to aim as best I can down the arrow. It came out of there so distorted and, and fishtailed out of there. It was crazy. Either way, I went right over the top of the first coyote. Well, then two or three more run down. And I grab a, another arrow and I knock that. And again, I go to pull back with fingers. And this time the arrow pops off the knock again because the fingers is just so much different than shooting with release. So either way I didn't get a shot off with that, that, I don't know, it was probably the third or fourth coyote in a row. And then they run down over the hill. As I climb the tree, I got turkeys flying out of the same tree that I'm sitting in. Fifteen or twenty turkeys come out, fly down out of the roost. There's noise everywhere. Then I've got deer blowing straight ahead of me. I got another hunter down there that must have spooked a couple of deer up to me. I got him right under the tree where I just shot this doe. But for whatever reason, I couldn't get a shot. And then I had this little doe come in, stand right under the tree. It's just like last year. This is so ridiculous. I just want to get down out of the tree and get out of here. This is why I don't hunt morning hunts. It's insanity. Two years in a row, same tree. Good luck to everybody out there today. Hey again, thanks for taking a look at an awesome hunt from the season opener of the Pennsylvania deer season last year. This year, Alfred and I want to bring you a lot of stick and string traditional archery stuff. Uh, so stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up and uh, put some comments down there on whether you think this type of a shot is ethical or if it's something that we shouldn't do as archery hunters.